Previously on Tyranny of Dragons, you find yourselves surrounded by a dozen kobolds, spears in hand, and all glaring at you, some smiling. The smoke descends back over you all, throwing you back into imperceptible vision. Roll for initiative. Holy shit, how did we not see these guys? I mean, I get why Sleepy Joe didn't notice them, but come on. We've got to protect the squishies, especially Bam Bam. What? Why especially me? You nearly drowned. You're fragile right now. Guys, I'm fine. He's right, Bama. If I hadn't single-handedly saved you. I helped as well. Single-handedly saved you. You would be some fish's bitch right now. I had to cradle your weak body in my majestic arms and allow you to suckle on my teat of awesomeness. Okay, that's enough. You need me, Bama. I really don't. It, it's okay to lean on others for help, Bam Bam. It's okay that you're weak. I am not weak. You did fail pretty hard at crossing the stream. Even this chick gets it. Hold on, you think my character is female? Obviously, look at that character art. A waifu if ever I saw one. A what? -o? It's pronounced oo-woo. Anyway, we've got our work cut out for us, Swole. Indeed, Whitehead. Two broads and a weak ass gnome to protect against 12 of these fuckers. I reckon I could fit the baby sized gnome under my arm while I. Enough! You wanna see what I can do? I'll fucking show you. I move forward in front of Gormley. I clap my hands together and begin rubbing furiously as I walk. When I part them, a distinct sound of thunder emits from my body and sparks begin to flash about my hands. Thunder wave! You successfully send a thunderous wave of force at the three kobolds in front of you, obliterating them where they stand. What bits remain of them are scattered to the darkness. I end my turn by moving back and in between Gurmley, Sharpen, and Lillian. As I walk back past Gurmley, I say to him, top that, you punk bitch. Lillian, who has been focusing on the kobolds in front of her, charges forward and wielding the dagger she picked up earlier, makes an attack to the one on her left. Take it out! Her dagger slices into the kobold's neck, and she retreats back as it collapses onto the ground with fresh blood spreading out around it. This is looking good. At this rate, we'll take them all out in no time. And now for the kobolds. The two closest to Gurmley rush forward with their own daggers. The one on the right reaches you first. Come on, man. Really? Maximum damage? Hang on, I should have one more HP. I've only taken four damage since we started. I'm just gonna fix that. An easy enough mistake to make. Let's see if it'll make a difference with the second kobold's attack. This one gets advantage due to pack tactics. Noise. The next kobold attacks Lillian and also gets pack tactics. It succeeds in cutting Lillian's arm, drawing blood. It cackles as drops splatter the ground. How is she holding up? Another hit like that and she won't be able to stay conscious due to too much blood loss. Hang in there, Lillian. The next kobold attacks Sharpen. Those bastard kobolds, leave the women alone. I really hate you sometimes. This kobold is also successful and you feel a sharp pain across your chest and notice your clothes turning red. What is up with this max damage bullshit, Dungeon Master? You trying to kill us? Not intentionally, Donald. It is the way of the dice. I took a solemn vow never to fudge my rolls. Now prepare yourself swole gnawed as the remaining four attack you. The fuck? Ha! It's going to take a lot more than that to pierce my magnificent skin. Oh no, my magnificent skin? Uh, I may be in trouble, guys. But you're so strong, Swolnald. Maybe your nipples will save you. You mock them, but they are the source of my power. Each one can deliver massive damage. Before the next kobold attacks, I use Stone's Endurance to reduce the damage it may send my way. There, you see? Saved by my mighty nipples. I wouldn't keep talking about them while the kobolds are attacking you, Stomp. They might actually believe you. Why did that one laugh? Because after hearing Bama's comment, he aimed to slice off one of your nipples and succeeded. And, uh, ah! Swole, talk to me, bro. You okay? No! No, I'm not! You see, Swole Nald grab his head with both hands as he flails on the spot. Then you notice how his muscles begin to bulge and twitch. Thick, meaty veins throb all over him, and you can almost hear a pulse coming from his body. His shoulder pads fall off, unable to stay in place, and when he removes his hands, you can see pure hatred. What the hell is happening? 
It's rage. He's gone full-blown rage. Oh yeah, baby. It's time to party. Before you do, though, it's my turn to shine. I cast Firebolt at the one that attacked me. Although your spell does make contact, it is not enough to finish off the kobold. It has, however, burnt a large section of its face, and it snarls at you, baring its teeth. That's all I can do for now. Then it is time to show you my true power. I use rage, which for those of you who don't know makes me a fucking badass. I swing my mighty great axe at the kobold to my top right. Your attack cuts the kobold's head clean off, and its body falls to the ground. Fuck yeah. I end my turn with Swollen Old beating his chest and roaring into the night sky. As a bonus action, I use Second Wind, restoring four hit points. I will then attack the kobold on the right. Nice. nice. Your longsword cuts down the kobold with ease, like tearing a sheet of tissue paper. All right, let's keep this going. Bam, bam, unleash hell on them like you did last time. I can't do that right now, but I can do this. I cast Firebolt at the one attacking Sharper. Your firebolt narrowly misses as it saw you preparing the attack and was able to dodge it. Damn, that's me done for now. Lillian goes in for her next attack and also cuts this one's jugular, blood spraying across her face. This chick is amazing. We may have to replace your character, Ben. I'm not sexist, but I can't have more than two broads on our party. I don't know how else I can tell you this. My character is a dude. Just you wait until my turn. I've still got things I can do that will show you my worth. Now for the kobolds, the first one attacks Gurmly. You haven't done a single thing of use so far, Shapiro, whereas the other chick has already taken down, what, three kobolds so far? The next one will attack Sharpen. Just you wait, Donald, and all of you, should you have any doubt. You'll see that I have great skill and power. Ben, your character has taken enough damage that you are knocked unconscious. Ugh, this fucking sucks. The remaining three attack Swolnald, all with advantage. Bring it on. With my mighty rage, I'll have all damage they can throw at me. As you have no more stone's endurance, I will have all three roll their attack at once. From left to right, they slash at you with their daggers. You take three piercing from the first, nothing from the second, and two piercing from the third, bringing your HP down to four. Oh man, that's pretty cool. I may have to take a level in Barbarian. Don't you even think about it. Okay, Ben. Roll me your first death save, remember. 9 to 19 counts as one save. Nat 20 counts as two. Two to eight counts as one fail. And a nat one counts as two fails. You need three successes to stabilize or three fails to die. I'll have to accept whatever the outcome, as will you. Don't fail me now, Dice! Woo! That's one. You're up, Donald. Way ahead of you, boss man. I swing at the one on the right with my great ax. Are you fucking kidding me? The kobold was ready for you and was able to duck out of the way as you brought your axe down. Let's see if I have better luck with the kobold on the left. Your sword plunges into the kobold's face and out the top, splitting its skull in half. I move down and next to Swole to help him. I don't need your help, Biden. My character's swoleness will reign supreme over these shitty lizards. Well, just in case, I'm staying side by side. I shall cast Firebolt at the one who attacked Ben again. Oh, come on. This isn't going well for us guys. Good thing we have Lillian here. That chick is just straight up owning the fight. Speaking of, Lillian moves towards the nearest kobold and attempts to stab it in the throat. She succeeds and it too falls to the ground. She then moves towards the rest of the kobolds and stands by Gurmly. Stay close to me, I say to her as I eye up the kobold in front of me. The kobold on the left attacks Gurmly, dealing four damage. The other two attack Swole Nald. And even with Rage's ability, Donald, you are knocked unconscious. Oh, sweet January 6th. I think we're screwed, guys. Let's not give up. I've got my second death save roll. Nice, that's two. You're right, Shapiro. It isn't over until we're all as dead as Biden's presidency. Let's go death save roll. Fuck. I attacked the one in front of me. Another success, Joe. Your sword brings the kobold to its knees before it falls to the side. Am I seriously about to be saved by Biden? Believe it, Trump. We're a goddamn team. I'm also a part of this team. I move to the side by 10 feet and cast Firebolt. Are you fucking kidding me? It'll be okay, guys. We're getting all the shit rolls done with now. It means we'll get awesome ones later. There may not be a later. Midget fucking killjoy. 
I move back another 15 feet to avoid any close-up attacks once the rest of the party is dead. Lillian moves towards the kobold on the left and goes for another attack. And yet another success. This one falls down after a single blow from Lillian's dagger. A fucking goddess. She then moves next to the kobold in an attempt to stop it from attacking Swolnald, which works as it now focuses its attack on her. Swiping at her, it makes contact. No! Lillian falls to the ground unconscious. Okay, hopefully this will be my last roll. That means I'm okay, right? It means you have stabilized with one HP. Okay, great, so then I move. Hold up, Ben, you've stabilized. That's your turnover. Then I shall roll my next death save and rise like a majestic phoenix. This is bullshit. Sorry, Donald, that's two fails so far. One more or a successful attack from the kobold and that's your character done for. I'll get it. I charge around Swole's body and attack the kobold. Oh, no. Unfortunately, that isn't enough to hit it, Joe. Bam, bam. You got any ideas? Firebolt. I think we've established you cannot use Firebolt well. Do something useful. I look up at the keep's walls and shout as loud as I can. Help us, kobold's attacking, help us. You hear nothing in return. Meanwhile, I will roll for Lillian's death save. It's a nat one. That's two fails. The kobold attacks Gurmly. Oh shit. Indeed. Gurmly has been taken down by the remaining kobold. You better not miss this time, Shapiro. Firebolt! How do you want to do this? Let's go! Fuck yeah. It's about damn time. I raise my hand into the air, close my eyes and clench my fist. Flames erupt around my hand as I scream, Firebolt! The flame flies across the air, right into the kobold's open mouth, and his head explodes from the intense heat. Congratulations. You have managed to defeat the first wave of kobolds outside of the keep. Yeah, we did a great. Hold on, first wave, as in there are more coming? Oh yes. In fact, you can hear them running up the hill towards you. Maybe two dozen this time. We've got to run. Where to? And what about the others? I run towards the front doors of the keep and bang on them as loud as I can. Open the fucking doors! I tried shouting and it didn't work. Let's try together. With the two of you both shouting, you hear a voice above you. Back off, you cultist bastards, or we'll rain down a shower of arrows upon you. I call up, we're not cultists. We're escorting Lillian Swift, one of your people. She is hurt, as is our group. We've defeated the kobolds here, but more are coming. Please let us in. Roll me a persuasion check. I'm going to help to give him advantage. There's a moment's silence, followed by heavy sounds of grunts and odd, slightly mechanical noises. The front doors open and several men clad in armor rush out. Most of them run past you and set up a defensive line. A few others run and grab the unconscious party members and a single dwarf with a red beard stands in front of you both. He looks you both up and down. One false move from any of you and we'll throw you off the rooftop. Now get inside quick. Thank you all for watching. As promised, we will give a shout out to those who correctly predicted what would happen in the fight to Oberserver, who correctly predicted that Bama would fumble the hardest and who might roll a nat 20. Although Gurmly also got a nat 20 and finally for predicting Sharpen would go down, next to Gregory Mound 6507 for also correctly predicting that Sharpen would go down. And finally to Federico of 75 for correctly predicting that the party would win. It was very close to the wire indeed. Well done viewers. Clearly, you have an eye for this sort of thing. Your names are now on our list for top predictors. Work on the next video has already begun, and with it will come another chance for you to contribute. Stay tuned for more details. Until next time, good evening.